Well, hey everybody, it's your old pal Al here today. Happy New Year. Welcome here to a new special thing. We're starting off here in 2023 here at Hope Lutheran Church. You might have noticed right here that um, we have a, a one more large plastic tub here in the sanctuary in the front of our worship space more than we usually do, you know, which is none. Now we've got one big one and you might wonder, what they got put in that big plastic tub there? Well, I tell you, here's a special place that starting this year, we're going to be taking special collections for items that we can give to the Homer City Food Bank so that neighbors here in our own community can have more of what they need so they can feed their families, things that they might not get anywhere else. Now, you might uh, be wondering, why are we putting this stuff right up here in the front of our worship space? We want to get all junky? Well, here, here's what we're thinking. You know, one of the ways that we show God our love and our thanks and our praise is to give offerings, right? We give our money and our songs and our praise to God as a way of saying thank you to God for the blessings of life and everything that God does for us. But here's the secret. God doesn't actually need our offerings. God doesn't like get fed by the food we bring or need the money that we give for God's purposes. We just use that money then to help take care of each other and our neighbors. And the same thing here with this food. We want to think about the, the food that we give and the different items we give throughout the year as given to God, but that God then turns around and uses to feed our neighbors. You might know there's a great line by our older brother in the faith, Martin Luther, who says, God doesn't need our good works, but our neighbor does. Same thing here with, with the different kind of food items and things we'll collect this year. God's not hungry. God doesn't need those things. But God sure does love our neighbors who are hungry. And God wants to make sure they have what they need as well. So all year, we are going to be having special collection. Every time you come in church, there's going to be a display here. And it'll say what we're collecting for two months at a time. So, for example, in January and February of 2023, we're going to be inviting folks to bring in tissues and bar soap. With the thought, if we all bring in something, there will be enough for every household that comes through the Homer City Food Bank coming up the next time that they receive uh, food and distribute food. And then coming up March and April, we're going to invite folks to bring things like cake mix or brownie mix or pudding cups or jello cups and cooking oil. Again, so that maybe families that are hungry could also have a nice dessert sometime as well or something for their kids' lunches in school. Later on, in May and June, we'll be collecting toothpaste and toothbrushes. Again, one of those things everybody needs, but a lot of people don't think to donate. And if we all collect together, there will be enough. Sometimes there are 60 households that come through the line here in the Homer City Food Bank. And if we work together, we can make sure everybody who comes through the line can get one of what we need. So that's the invitation to see this place is one more way that we're giving our offerings to God. Not because God needs bar soap or tissues or whatever, but because God loves the people in our neighborhood and we can give the things that we offer to God's service for our neighbors. So next time you're here at Hope and you wonder, what's that big plastic tub doing there? Just remember what your friend Al told you. We're giving to God and to love our neighbors. Hey, we'll see you around. Bye.